Hi, this is Kevin from Inquality. One question we sometimes get asked is, how do I root audio from third-party software such as Pro Tools into IPDTL? Well, the short answer is that with IPDTL alone, you can't. However, you can use external hardware to root the audio back into your computer, or you can use third-party software such as Soundflower, which is free, and that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to first of all switch from standard at the top of the page to IPDTL's advanced layout, which comes with a gold subscription. I'm then going to select on the second channel here, which is a second input, the virtual device Soundflower 2 channel. Meanwhile, in my audio software, which in this instance is Audacity, but could be Pro Tools, Audition, or any other audio or DAW software, I'm going to change its output to the virtual device again soundflower two channel now when i play the tone which is loaded up in audacity you'll see that it lands on the second channel to be sent down the line in ipdtl indeed if i connect to ipdtl's loopback test you'll hear that the tone comes back So how do you hear it whilst sending it to the remote party? Well, within IPDTL, you can select here on the routing matrix this channel and send it to your primary output device. You'll hear that the tone is now also being routed to my default output device for my own monitoring. Thanks for watching, and if you have your own ideas for routing such audio, please do leave them in the comments below.